Yep, that's two inch schedule 80. Uh, today we're gonna do horizontal. I'm gonna do the root pass. I have the standard bevel, I've cleaned them up. I put just barely a whisper of a, a face on there and that was more to knock the burr off. So less than a 30 second, essentially none whatsoever. I've tacked this in two tacks. And the attempt here, you can hold your torch and freehand this in by propping against the pipe and walking this in or manipulating this in here. Or we have the option of resting a number five cup in here and wiggle or walking this in here. And this is fit tight enough. I have a I have a dirty 16th. This one kind of closed a little bit. So I'm going to use a 332nd wire and because this is tight, I'm going to run 120 amps. I'm running off of an Everlast 161 STH and I'm using a feature called Live Arc. It's just like touch start. As soon as I touch the tungsten to the grounded material, gas and amperage come on. I don't have to use the valve. So I'm going to transfer some leads over here. We'll commence our run. Uh, this wire may look white <clears throat> on camera. I don't know, but that's because I've been using the Scotch Bride on it. It probably had some processing oil. I like to clean these wires off and I just give it a couple swipes with the, the old Scotch Bride. So it may look odd to you. I don't know. I've taken pretty much all the copper off of it, the copper color of it. Also, a minute ago, I said, holding the torch, we can prop fingers and whatnot. I'm realizing that might be a little uncomfortable for me and I'm gonna try something a little different here. And, and uh, I'm gonna hold the torch like this between my finger because I do that a lot and I'm comfortable doing it. And I'm gonna just rotate the heel of my hand across here while I'm freehanding. If I get uncomfortable that way, I'll stop. All right, I'm coming off my tack here. I've heated it up. Pushing a little wire in. I also kind of like to rotate this wire and feel it. As I rotate wire, it tells me that I'm hot enough and I'm pushing on it enough that it's going in. I'm coming up to the tack, so I'm going to heat it up, add wire, come back a little bit and weld through it. By coming up on a long tack, I'm coming up on a mass. And right before I come out and snap the arc, I'll long arc this a little bit. It leaves just a little bit of a depression, but I don't think it's gonna suck that hole all the way through there like can happen on piping porosity. Okay, I'm gonna rotate this pipe and show another method of walking the cup. I'm watching this wire flow off the end. It may not look like it's getting in there, but I'm real confident it is with a feathered edge. I'm running hot enough that um, I, I'm real confident this is busting the wall down. 
on the inside. The question is, is how much actual reinforcement I'm getting. I am rotating the wire and I can kind of feel it going in loose. Pow. We're hot and smooth. We hot and smooth. I'm pretty comfortable with that. It just looks funny. I, again, I still like the old method of back feeding, especially on horizontal, because I can leave that wire on the top edge, but I sh thought I'd show this tighter uh, feathered edge type fit here. That concludes the root run on here, and I've wire wheeled it, and it is pretty smooth. So, <clears throat> I'm, I'm pretty confident, but I do want to look at it in a mirror. Uh, we're going to continue on and do another episode where we're doing the fill and the cap. So this particular size tube and groove and everything on a two inch schedule 80, more than likely I am going to run a 332nd single bead fill pass, try to bring it up flush, slightly below. I want to leave my beveled edges in here and use them as a guide, I'll more than likely run a two bead cap as well. So be looking for the next episode when we do the filling cap. Appreciate you watching weld.com. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Let me, let me talk now. I have something in my eye. I think I'm on a bloody crawl, man. Should I say something? They can't, cry. there's no crying and pipe welding. It's getting late, man. You gotta turn me loose.